Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie. Today I'm in the northeastern corner of Kershaw County. I'm on one of the many dirt roads that crosses through the sand hills. This one is called Charlie Jordan Road. And I'm looking at what I think is one of the most attractive wildflowers in our state. This is the purple passion flower. Now in this case, passion doesn't have the usual meaning we think of, but rather refers to the passion of Christ. Many features of the flower are associated with the ordeal Christ suffered during the crucifixion. Since Christ is believed to be not just a savior, but a king of the Christian people, the purple represents the royal robes worn by kings. The delicate corona seen just above the petals represents his crown. The three nail-shaped stamen on the very top of the flower represent the three nails that held them to the cross. The tendrils on the vine represent the whips with which he was beaten. The symbolism is both beautiful and sad. Besides its beautiful flower, the plant has a large edible fruit that gives it its other common name, Maypop. Wildlife enjoy this fruit and so did Native Americans. Inside the green pods are lots of edible seeds. I've eaten these before and they have a lemony taste to me. Besides enjoying the fruit, Native Americans were said to make a tea from the roots that would help relieve anxiety, inflammation, and cramps. People who practice folk medicine today still use extracts from this plant. Because of the distance between the anthers and the stigma on this flower, it takes a large insect like a wasp to pollinate it. The leaves of the plant produce a sweet nectar that attracts ants. The ants enjoy the nectar and in return ward off any insects that would harm the plant. The 